All right, so I'll just give you a quick rundown on how I connected the can high and the can low to the Hondata K-Pro. Um, I've basically done it all. And yeah, I'll just sort of give you a rundown on what I have done. So once you pull the four screws off the cover, that opens up. Um, and your Hondata comes with a clip. And that's the part number, which basically goes onto here. And if you can see that, you can see your can low, can high. Now, what I've done with this clip is I've already pinned it. So, um, I've repinned the clips. So, basically, I'm using the same colors as the can high and can low that came with the power tune dash kit, which is this. So, the blue and the red. So, basically, here's, here's a plug that I prepared earlier. And as you can see, the can high and can low now lines up with the blue and red. So can blue is always your can low. Um, just before I push that on, I'll just show you as well, because I just put that little resistor in there as well. So when I push the pins out, which is as simple as just pushing on these little clips here, the cable will actually come out. I just wound that around the, uh, around the actual crimp um, and pushed it all back in. So now once I put that on, uh, that just pushes on and it sits there quite nice and snug. Um, I kept all of the cables on there because um, it just helps hold this plug on that little bit firmer so it doesn't bounce off. So that's on now. And then what I've also done is I've drilled a hole in the side of the Hondata. You can see there, put a little grommet. And that's where I will run my can low and can high through. And I'll also fit a, um, a Deutsch connector on there. Um, and yeah, once that's in the car, then I'll be able to connect that straight to the back of the power tune dash. All right, so the next thing I've gone and done is connected the main power for the power tune dash, dash cluster. So basically I went through and labeled all of my um, existing dash cables. I mean, there's plenty of pin-out diagrams online for, uh, for my car, the Honda Civic uh, 94 hatch EG. Um, so basically I've labeled everything. Um, and then yeah, I've just come along and I've basically spliced my 12 volt ignition, as you can see, and a ground. And basically there's my power supply for the power tune cluster. And I've spliced in the power supply for the, um, the can extender, because I'll be running a can extender with my dash. So I'll also be running the uh, GPS uh, unit as well on the back of the power dash uh, unit. So basically the GPS module comes separate. You'll find another bag, you have a little uh, 3D printed clip and a screw, um, as well as uh, the electrical connector. So basically that connector, so it's there, yeah, just like the diagram specifies. And the clip, oops, sorry. The clip goes over the top, so basically ends up sitting like that. The screw holding into place. As you can see, it is numbered one, two, three. And you plug into here on the GPS, which is also numbered one, two, three, four. So pretty straightforward. Color the color, number to number. Um, and then in terms of the actual module itself, I'll end up, I'll run that uh, down the back of the, uh, the dash and up the pillar, and I'll end up mounting it up on the, uh, the front of the windscreen there. All right, so we've got the GPS module in, tuck the uh, cable up in the roof liner and down the pillar. And yeah, basically got the power tune dash all connected and ready to go. So just go over. The uh, GPS is connected to that little GPS module, which is now fixed off. Um, number sequence here, one, two, three, four. Loop that straight over onto the GPS tab. Also uh, mark one, two, three, four. And then I've got my can high, can low. So can low is blue and can high is my red and white. So I've got two cables there because one runs straight to the ECU and run one runs to my uh, power tune can extender. And then the little plug underneath, that one there is our power. So that should fire up now.
All right, so setting up your can output on the on Data K Pro, you want to open your file. Once you open your file, you want to come on over to Multiplexer Digital Output. Scroll down. I've already changed mine, but that should be uh, set to disabled if you haven't set up your um, can output. So you want to send that to set that to Honda protocol, 500 kilobits per second. Um, turn your ECU on. Upload. And upload. Save your file. And close your file. And you can turn your ECU off. Disconnect it. Let's just swap across to the settings, start up on Data K Pro. We've set this to 500 kilobits uh, per second. Apply. That'll reboot again. And once that turns back on, it should be sorted. Ready to go. That's it. Start the car. Let's reset again because my battery's a bit low. That should be idling now. Yeah, that's idle. We're all up and running. Enjoy!